Why isn't it better, Governor Palin, to spend $700 billion helping middle class families who are struggling with health care, housing, gas, and groceries? Allow them to spend more and put more money into the economy instead of helping these big financial institutions that played a, a role in creating this mess. Dollar That's why I say I, like, like every, every American, American I'm speaking with, we're Ill Ill about this, this position we're saying, that we hey, have been why bail out put Fannie in where the and taxpayers not me. looking to but bail out. Ultimately, but ultimately, what the bailout, what the bailout does, does is help those, is help that are those concerned about who are concerned about the health care reform, reform that is needed to help shore up our economy, to help them. It's got to be all about job creation, too, shoring up our economy and, and putting it back on the right track. So health care reform and reducing taxes and reining in spending has got to accompany tax reductions and tax relief for Americans. And trade, we've got to see trade as opportunity, not as a competitive, scary thing, but one in five jobs being created in the trade sector today. We've got to look at that as more opportunity. All those things under the umbrella of that, job you know, creation. This bailout is a part of that. <laughs> lessons have you learned from Iraq and how specifically would you spread democracy abroad? Specifically, we would make every effort possible to spread democracy abroad to those who want it. <laughs> yes, but specifically, what would you do? We're going to promote freedom, usher in democratic values and ideals, and fight terror-loving terrorists. <laughs>